Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and today we're going to be talking about how to install maps for your Killing Floor 2 game. And we'll go over a couple different ways of doing this. So the first thing you need is a custom map to install for the game, and you can get these a couple of ways. You can get them through individual websites or through and this is a little bit more automated, the Steam Workshop, which doesn't have a lot on it yet, but they will soon. And right here, I have this folder called Killing Floor Super Perk Training Deluxe Version 7D, and I'm going to install this into my maps file for Killing Floor 2. And you want to take the whole file with this little map file inside of it, because that's how Killing Floor um, sort of sorts things. So I'm going to copy that and we are going to navigate to our killing floor folder. So one way that you can do that is you can go to properties of your game by right clicking on it, go to local files and browse local files, which will bring up the folder right here. And then you can go into killing floor game. Can was it config? Hold on a moment. Um, actually, yes, it was killing floor game brood PC maps and you can paste it in here. If for whatever reason that doesn't work for you or um, your stuff is in a different location, you can go to my PC and open up the hard drive where your primary folders are installed. Program files 86. Scroll down till you find the Steam folder. Scroll down till you find the Steam apps. Go to common and then find Killing Floor 2, which is sort of down here hiding amongst the riffraff. Uh, we'll grab that, and then we go to Killing Floor Game, Brood PC, Maps, and then I'm going to paste my map in here, Super Perk Training Deluxe, and I will start it up, and it should show up on your custom maps list, or just your maps list, when you want to play offline alone, and if you want to play online with people on a custom map server, you won't have to download anything because you're fancy. And that's really about it. And if you want to delete any of these, you just come in here, right click and click delete and you should be good to go. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any questions or anything was confusing, um, you can pause it at any point to see where stuff is by looking at the map here, the drive map or like the, the list of fault folders I went into at the top of the screen here. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra, for another Chupacabra Tutorials video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Toodles!